Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Look, before we get into...
there is something I have observed, and now I feel I must say it. I have found your presence to be inspiring. With your growth in the Force, you seem to have found your center, and throughout the dangers we face, you remain calm and focused. I understand now why others followed you to war. Perhaps that is what leadership is, and it is something I have seen in only a few during my travels. In any event, it has been some time since I traveled with a Jedi, nor one so firmly upon the path. I wanted to thank you. I fear the stories that were spoken of you have misrepresented you, and if I have the opportunity, I shall reverse them whenever they arise. Very well. Then I shall keep my favorable opinions to myself. That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? You are correct. I am afraid I have not been entirely open with you concerning my past. If I look familiar, it is because we have met before, at the Enclave on Dantooine, many years ago. As on Coruscant, Force-sensitive children are taken to Dantooine as well, though it is done rarely and only with those they believe are destined to become Jedi Knights. It is the secret nature of the place. If you are not chosen by a master when you have come of age, however, then the path of the Jedi is denied to you. I met you on Dantooine, long ago, briefly. You taught us how to move within the Force and see it flow within others. How to see it in the behaviors of others and use that sight to achieve truth. It is difficult to explain the difference between you and Master Vruk, but I think it is because he was knowledgeable, but not a leader, not a mentor. You were different. We could all feel it. And I knew that if I were to have a master, I would want it to be you. And then you went to war. Many Jedi went to war, and the Jedi Masters proclaimed that you were Jedi no longer. Atrus, the mistress of the Archives, was first among them. I knew at that moment that if you would no longer be a Jedi, then you must be correct. I realized I did not want to be a Jedi. Instead, I wished to follow your path. And in any event, there was no one to train me, even if I wished it. They all went to war as I grew past the age of acceptance. It is possible to forget the Force, you know. If you have not felt it strongly enough, then there is little to miss. I never felt the Force as strongly as I did when I was with you. And so I decided to serve the Republic, study the Jedi teachings, gather them, perhaps. It was important to me to understand the Jedi now that they were gone. I felt some part of you should be preserved, so that your lessons would not be lost. Perhaps. I still harbor doubts about the path I walked. It is not time, if there ever is a time. Many Jedi went to go fight in the Mandalorian Wars, and few returned. To their disciples left behind on Dantooine, on Coruscant, there were few masters to train them. I was one such student. Perhaps not as strong in the Force as the others, but it really did not matter. The teachers left behind were few. Only a few students were accepted as the Mandalorian Wars raged on. And when I came of age, there were no masters left to train me. So I was forced to leave the Order, to seek my path elsewhere. It was for the best, I think. I had begun to have... doubts. And I think the masters were aware of them. Never. I have seen you traveled with you. My life was mine, not chained to yours. It is not time. Forgive me, but there is something I must ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi, but the records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave the Jedi Order and accept exile. Perspective. Nothing more. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? Do you have a record of this trial? 
Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance, with your permission. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. I have studied the hollow record of your trial. I am unsure what to make of it. I must confess that I was searching for some meaning beyond the records. A reason for why one would leave the Order. Did you know that exile is a rare sentence? It is not really something that the Order can enforce. Believe it or not, it was really your choice. I don't think so. Perhaps some of them felt strongly about your sentence, but I think something else concerned them. Again, the choice to turn away was yours, not theirs. Because I, too, turned away from the Order. Under less extreme circumstances, perhaps, but stemming from the same reasons. I'm not certain I do, either, but it is something worth considering. Because I... T then I shall speak no more of it. Yes, is something wrong? At times, I meditate, simply close my eyes, and listen. It is quite calming. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. That is hardly a surprise. I think you are right. It is time. I have watched you. You have become strong in the Force again. But that is not all. You have achieved a center in the chaos around us, and I have felt it. My master, the one intended for me, left to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Now she has returned, and I ask her now if she will train me in the ways of the Force. The one who was to be my master was lost at Malachor V. So it ends. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force. To become a Jedi Knight. What I meant to be.
my life for yours. I will answer what I can. What do you want? The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? Huh. We'd never faced Jedi before, and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. You brought tactics, backbone, and above all else, victory to them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic with the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? Just think about it. Now is there something else you needed? I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. Find some other lackey to do your bidding. Now is there something else? The Republic thinks my people are dead, scattered. They are wrong. You should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way, as it will be always. There are, but those are luxuries. Luxuries that were paid for by the blood of our warriors, alive and dead. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. But we live in times of action, and I've said enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something else you needed? Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Talk. About what? Why, are you trying to be my mother? No thanks. Something up? 
All right. What? Ah, you are here. You felt it, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchman in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. <laughs> 